Hey, it's Chris Duncan here. Uh, I wanted to just do this video on the difference between the problem reality and the creative reality because it's, it's probably one of the biggest things we teach. And, and the truth is, is if you're in the problem reality, you just keep on reinforcing that problem. And it's the number one reason why uh, most people don't have the success they want. So the problem orientation is everywhere, okay? It's uh, it's in the news, uh, politicians, society, uh, and it's in all personal development, really. And the, the thing with problem solving is when you're in and you're focused on uh, what you don't want, all your motivation is to rid yourself of that. And, uh, and creation isn't just the opposite, it's actually something completely different, okay? All successful people, if they really created, they stopped focusing on just trying to solve a problem. Instead, they focus on what they wanted to create. Whether you wanna create a transformation in your body, your business, your health, your relationships, your financial position, the love you have in your life, the joy in life, whatever it is, the problem orientation isn't at, okay? Is because in the problem orientation, the, the thing that you wanna get rid of is the factor that's organizing everything. And if you were to solve or to get rid of that, there's actually no guarantee that you'll have what you want, just that you won't have that thing. And it's uh, it's a really, it's it can lead to like mindlessness or unfulfillment. See, you can actually solve all the problems that you have and not have what you want <laughs> because all you've done is focused on the negative. And, and you're, I really want to get this, your life isn't a problem to be solved. Uh, it really, really isn't. It, it is not. Uh, it is not about that. But but look, problem solving does have its place, right? If uh, if your house is burning down, it's not the time to be thinking about um, you know what, how you want to redecorate. You know, so you know obviously if there is a big big problem, you do need to deal with it. But I'm talking about how you orient your life and how to shift. Okay. So the creative process. The creative process is not positive thinking. It is not problem solving. It is not adapting the right beliefs. It is not therapy. It is not self-esteem. It is not changing or fixing yourself. It's not a psychic trick to try to trick the universe or the world. It's not willpower and it's not overcoming barriers. It's none of that. It's simply it has one outcome. It's to create the results you desire. Now, as you focus on creating the results you desire, you will end up thinking more positive. You will end up adopting the right beliefs. You probably won't need therapy. You probably feel better about yourself and have good self-esteem. You, you, you will change and you will notice that you create what you love. You will overcome barriers and you will have willpower. However, you don't focus on having those things. It's the focus on having those things and problem solving and needing it is the mistake people have looked at billionaires or successful people and they've said wow look at them they are this way so if i be this way i'll get that but that's not how it works by focusing on the creation they became that you see but by focusing on trying to become it you just teach your brain that you must become something else in order to have what you succeed and it doesn't work the creative process is a journey to the end result OK, you must understand the mechanics of the creative process. You must understand how to orient in the creative process and to unpack your creative spirit. OK, when you're creating, you do need some set data points. So the first data point is what you want to create. And the next data point is where are you now? And the third one is what action must I take to move towards it? When you place your focus in this structure, the structure will create the result. And I, and I talk a lot about structure. And uh, it's really important to understand that most aren't going for what they want. Most are reacting, responding, fixing, uh, manipulating, then trying to pray to have something magic happen rather than just creating it. The most predictable thing in this known universe is the creative process. What is it that I want? Where am I now? What action should I, should I take? And so when we work with this, we actually work with three different layers of mind. We work with the self-conscious mind, the unconscious mind, and the superconscious mind. And we help all layers of this to join together and report in the creative process. Now, I'll be doing lots more videos on those different layers of mind, but right now, I want you to consider one thing. What would you really love in life? Not what would you like to solve or fix or have, and not that you want something to get something to have something, but just what would you truly love? Like, really? Because that is, that is likely to be the main focus of your life.
It really is. What would you love? When we talk about what would you love uh, in Magnetic Mind and, and in the Superconscious Creative Code, we're, we're talking about what is your life meant to be about? We have three big focuses. The first one is personal power. You have the ability to let go of any limitations. And we teach that with the Superconscious Recode. The second is your true nature and purpose. You have the ability to live your truest nature and your truest purpose and obviously the creative process. So anyway, I hope that you liked uh, to hear a little bit about the creative process. I feel like it's a very under talked about topic. Many are talking about fixing or healing or therapy or improving and all these things, but, but they're not looking at the bigger structure that's at play, you know? And, and that's what's exciting to me is there is a creative process. And, and when you understand yours, you know, like I did, we were able to build a $20 million company in like three years. We were able to, I got married to the love of my life, change my body composition, help so many people transform, you know, from someone who was blind learning to, to see again, from people who, you know, had uh, trauma and limitations and fears and anxieties, becoming creators. But we never, ever, ever focused on the fact that those were problems. We focus on creating a life they love. And as we focus on that creation, all those things were no longer a problem. If you focus on the problem, you give them the power. So please subscribe to this channel, share this video out, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment on some other videos or other things you'd like me to talk about. And it'll be uh, my absolute pleasure to, to jump in and do that. My name is Chris Duncan, and uh, thanks for watching my video.